So preeclampsia, it is a condition where women develop high blood pressure. They have swelling in the legs and protein in their urine. It develops in one in 25 pregnant women in the United States and is a factor in 15% of all premature births. Almost a decade ago, doctors began recommending high-risk women take a regular baby aspirin to help prevent this condition. A new study, though, finds that information might not be getting out. Preeclampsia can be deadly for a developing baby and dangerous for mom, too, years afterwards. So it's not something that ends with delivery, but has ongoing implications for uh, cardiovascular health. Women with high blood pressure or kidney disease before pregnancy might be at high risk for developing preeclampsia during pregnancy. The U.S. Preventative Services Task Force has recommended women at high risk take one of these daily. But actually, if you take a low dose kind of baby aspirin, you can decrease the risk of developing preeclampsia because that aspirin is an anticoagulant. But is that information getting through? Researchers used data from a smartphone app called My Healthy Pregnancy to determine if pregnant women at high risk of preeclampsia were following recommendations. What we found, uh, which was particularly interesting, was that about 37% of those patients who were prescribed aspirin um, appropriately were not aware that they were being prescribed aspirin. The study also found that of the pregnant women who knew they should take baby aspirin, less than half, only 49% followed their doctor's order. Chris Namurti and her colleagues say they are not sure why there is a problem with adherence. Some women might hesitate to take any medication during pregnancy, and others confuse safe drugs like baby aspirin with drugs that are not safe for pregnancy, like ibuprofen. But in a low enough dose, there are really no risks to the mother or fetus from taking it. You can help mommy with the baby, right? Researchers say a digital platform like My Healthy Pregnancy could help flag patients with preeclampsia risk factors. That could prompt more detailed conversations between doctors and women at risk about the benefits of taking low-dose aspirin.